All right, today I want to talk about flash drives. I want to talk about the fact that um, they can be an important attack vector. So you want to make sure if you are given a flash drive, or let's say you go to a trade show and a lot of vendors are giving out flash drives. I know where I used to work at, we actually had business cards. They look like business cards, but they were actually flash drives as well. So, you know, that was a pretty big hit. People like that. But, you know, you go to these trade shows and people are passing out flash drives like crazy. And uh, there's situations like I actually read the other day where this guy was talking about doing vulnerability assessments. And one of the things he would do is just, you know, lay a flash drive out on the front desk. And more often than not, he saw a secretary or a guard or someone plug in the flash drive into a system on the network. And bam, the system has been exposed and the network's been exposed. So when you grab one of these flash drives the most secure thing you can do is just to throw it right in the trash but that's not always practical so if you have you know 10 flash drives why do that you can actually just securely erase them and um, use them maybe you can load linux on there have a bootable usb now this is also useful if you want to go ahead and wipe a drive and give it to someone else you'd want to go ahead and uh, run at least a one pass on it to zero it out now there's all kinds of third-party tools you can grab like derek's boot and nuke or stuff like that but there's actually tools built into uh, the Mac and Windows machines that you can actually use. So the first thing you want to do when you grab one of these flash drives is when you plug it in, make sure that system is not on a network. Make sure there's, you know, it's not plugged in via Ethernet, uh, wireless or anything like that. So what I like to do is have an isolated virtualized instance running on VMware Fusion. Like I'll plug it into a Linux box or, or Linux instance or something like that and make sure it's isolated so that way it can affect my network. So I'm going to show you how to wipe and format on Windows, uh, Mac, Linux, and here we're just going to start in Windows as you see here. So when that flash drive is plugged in, I go to computer, this is my drive here, right click, we want to format it. Now before Vista, if we selected quick or full format, it was pretty much the same thing. It would wipe out our partition tables, things like that, but would actually not even touch the data. The data is actually still there. It's just the pointers to the data are now gone. The only difference between quick and full format pre Windows Vista was the fact that the full format would scan the sectors. That's basically it. Now it's a little different with Vista 7 and 8. Basically a full format will actually write a bunch of zeros to all those sectors. So it's basically one time it'll put a bunch of zeros on there. So that adds a level of security. I mean, we're not talking Mission Impossible type security, but it is pretty good and good enough for what I'm doing most of the time. Now it does take a little longer than the quick format, probably, I guess maybe five times as long, but it's a good opportunity to go grab a coffee or something. All right, now that's done. Um, another way that we can format this. Run as administrator. And run this part. Let me expand that out a little bit. This disk. Select disk one in my case. Now the first thing we want to do is clean this. Now we can do a clean or a clean all. Now here's the difference. When you do a clean all, it's going to write zeros to all the sectors. And it will take a while. So it'll take, when you run clean now, it'll be very fast. Clean all, it's going to take five to ten times as long. Again, it's another opportunity to go grab a coffee, something you need to do, and then come back to it. All right, and once it's been cleaned, We want to format it. If I could spell, it'd be great. And go ahead and use quick because if you use full or if you don't put anything, it'll do the full and it'll take forever. And we've already done the clean all, so we don't really need to do the full format. 
because again that clean all actually took on my system with a two gig flash drive it took eight minutes I'm gonna say almost ten minutes all right so now we're good to go it's been wiped it's been formatted and it's good to go all right now we're on a Linux machine and this is primarily what I use when I'm wiping and formatting one of these drives. So we want to use the dd command. So first of all, let's do fdisk-l. That'll tell us that our flash drive is dev slash sdd1. So we'll do dd. Now you might have to do sudo before this. If equals dash dev now we're gonna zero it out you could also put u random here so it'd be like u random but this takes a lot longer it is more secure but it takes a long time and I don't want to do that right now of equals slash dev slash sdd1 now for block size I use one uppercase M. I just remember when you're doing the DD command the second part meaning the of and what follows is where you're going to put it. Okay don't mix those up because you can run into all sort of problems and also remember to put the BS part at the end the block size because that'll, that'll make it go a little faster. Now you'll especially want to remember that when you run a DD command in the terminal in OS X if you decide to use that rather than disk utility but I'll get to that in a second so now we want to create the file system I have to unmount it first And if I could type, I'd be dangerous. So that's basically it. We've wiped the drive, we formatted the drive, and we're good to go. Now, on a Mac, you basically go to Disk Utility. A drive shows up. There it is right there and we want to select erase now we can just go ahead and erase now but what we want to do make it a little more secure we want to do it at least do a one pass so as you see here this option writes a single pass of zeros over the entire disk it erases the information used to access your files and writes over the data one time so we can go crazy and we can do you know mission impossible level seven times but I'm comfortable with just doing one. So this will take long enough. Now I want to make this say journaled. So now I want to go ahead and erase it. All right, now that's uh, erased and formatted. Now, there's another way to go about doing this in the terminal, also running the dd command, which we used earlier on Linux. So the first thing we want to do is we can't do fdisk. See, like before we in Linux we do fdisk, and we can see our devices, but we can't do that. This, we have to run disk util, and list, and then we see our devices. So with this one, it's slash dev slash disk2. So I type in sudo dd equals slash dev slash zero of, oh, you know what? I forgot my if. Of equals slash dev slash disk2 and actually 
put an R in front of that. Makes it run much faster. It has something to do with buffers. So for block size, before on Linux we did 1M. With this we need lowercase m. And the resource is busy. We can say disk util unmount slash dev slash disk two. Ah. Further down the rabbit hole. All right, another way to unmount that and not go through all that crap I just went through is you could actually click here. See, I'll mount it again. And then I'll unmount it. So don't click on the disk. Click on the partition. And you can unmount it. Pull down the control key and click on it. So once that's unmounted, we can run this again. Now again, make sure that you use R disk instead of just disk, because it'll make it go much faster. And make sure also that you do the BS equals 1M with the lowercase m, because if you don't do that, it's going to be very slow. I mean, for me, it was writing at 500 kilobytes a second. And to check this as it's going, because you you're going to be watching this and you go, well, how fast is it going? You can actually hit Control T and you can get a running update. You see for me right now, it's doing almost six megabytes a second, which is great. And much faster than the 500 kilobytes a second, obviously, that it was doing before. I mean, I was ranging from four to 600 kilobytes until I started using the BS equals 1M and using our disk instead of just disk. So personally, I would just stick with disk utility to do this anyway on a Mac, but if you're on a Unix machine or for whatever reason you're going to do this in the terminal on the Mac, that's the command you would use, dd. All right, now that's done. Give it a name, apply, create a partition, and we're good to go. So that's it. So basically, the gist of this is when you get a flash drive, go ahead and wipe it uh, before you format it. Uh, it's a good idea to securely erase it. Now, you don't need to go crazy and do a 7-pass deal. Just use the built-in utilities on a Mac, Linux, or Windows machine. And that should be good enough security for you in most situations. I mean, basically what we're looking for is the ability to use a flash drive that we get. Make sure it doesn't have malware, viruses, worms, or anything like that on there. So, again, take this system off the network because you don't want to compromise the system when you plug in this flash drive. You don't want to compromise the network when you plug in that flash drive. And you don't want to compromise your job if it hits the fan because you plugged in this USB drive. Don't be that guy. Be secure. Take it off the network. Wipe it. Like I said, you don't need to go crazy and do seven pass uh, zeroing or anything like that. And that's it. Just use the built-in tools available in Linux, Mac, and Windows, and you should be good to go. All right, this is Jesse for Bit the Brain. Thanks for watching.